Hey everybody, Kelly Alexa here. Going to give you a mini tour of my office. And we spend so much time in our offices. I think a lot of us tend to get stressed. Obviously work can be stressful, but we don't take the time to go, okay, wait a second. This is where I'm spending a lot of my time. This is where a lot of my energy goes. Why not make my surroundings from a physical perspective as nice and conducive to productivity, but also being comfortable um, as possible. And then secondly, add in some breaks, some rituals to your day. I've started doing this, adding rituals to my day um, that help you get through the day. And instead of looking at your business and your work as, oh, it's something I've got to endure, it's more like this is my work sanctuary. This is going to be the separate place where I focus, where I'm productive, where I work. And then when I leave here, make that part of your ritual, go into that separately. Um, when I leave my office space, it's not this overwhelming sense of, wow, it was awful and I'm going from bad um, to amazing outside of it, outside of the office. Make your office and the place that you spend a lot of time um, represent your vibe, represent who you are, and make your space enjoyable. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around here, bear with me, and I'm going to give you a brief tour of some of the things that I love the most about my new office and how it's made a change on my productivity, um, but also my health. And you might go, health? Yeah. So I'm going to turn this around and start giving you a tour. Bear with me. Um, doing the flip. Now first, as you're going to see here, I was standing at my standing desk. This is really one of the key factors to, I don't want to say success, but it's really made a huge impact. Obviously my desk looks nice. Look how nice and clean and organized. Um, but having a standing desk in and of itself um, has really been a game changer for my health. Now I'll link to separate posts where I've written about that. But as you can see, I do have a chair that's a swapper chair underneath. Um, I stand now at least 75% of the day, people. That's the God's honest truth. I love, um, I'll also link to the company. This is a client of Fitfluential's uh, standdesk.co. They're wonderful. Um, but as you can see, I really made a focus on getting my desktop to be pretty devoid of clutter. Now you still might look at this and see I've got stuff, but all of this stuff is my stuff that I need. What you see here in the center of my desk is, you know, one of my prized possessions. And the kind folks at Dell actually sent me this new system. This is the Dell XPS 13 with back here and I'm gonna get into that in two seconds, the um, Thunderbolt docking system, which if you see this here, this doesn't look like a docking, the docking system of old days, does it? This is a huge 32 inch monitor. I had before this for about three or four years, a Dell XPS all-in-one. So it wasn't the laptop, it was actually, this was an all-in-one. It was just a little bit smaller, I think it was a 27 inch but I had pretty much the same look. So I will put all the specs for the Dell XPS um, in the link that you'll see below, um, but look it up. The performance is amazing. What I do love in going from an all-in-one, which had the touch screen to this, which is actually the laptop with the docking station back there, and look how small, nice, and neat and tucked away that docking station is. I'm all about lack of clutter. Um, the nice thing about having this, so this is not touch screen. Do you see that I have my window open over here? When I had the touch screen because of that shiny screen, I mean, it is what it is. You get the glare. So this allows me to work and get that daylight. That's part of my ritual and part of my zen, you guys, is getting some daylight and, and air into your office. If you don't have a window, there are other things you can do. I mean, look at this blog post I'm focusing on right here. This is um, somebody I've recently become obsessed with, um, Kara at the Champagne Diet. And she has all this amazing stuff that I'm going and I'm buying now. It's incredible. But I mean, look at how zen. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Um, you know, these are the types of things that you can put around in your office to make your office life more 
you know, again, representative of the things that inspire you. Not necessarily that we can drink all day. Okay. <laughs> you can do that after work. But look at my desktop. You know, first of all, it's very clean, not cluttered. Usually the only thing you'll see on my desktop here is a notebook. Um, but the only thing I have out here, these uh, cute little, look at these. I got these at Barnes & Noble. Um, they hold your phones and I love them. So I usually have my iPhone there, my Samsung there, um, some flowers, um, obviously like my Prosperity, um, Lucky Stone, my Rubbing Stone. Um, I've got my um, markers here for my whiteboard. My whiteboard is over here to the left because I have confidential stuff there I can't show you. But huge whiteboard. All of my pens here. Um, keeping it simple. I've got a candle back here. This is my favorite, one of my favorite candle companies. Um, I think having a candle in your office from a scent perspective, but just from a Zen perspective is really nice. So obviously for me, again, having this standing desk, let me give you the overall view again. Having this standing desk, let me give you the view from here too, has been key for my health. I love that it has all the space. It simplifies my office. It also, I mean, even though <laughs> you see my cords here, because it has, um, you know, this power strip underneath, I don't know if you can see that, it, it keeps all of my cords from being over here on my floor. There's not many cords here. Um, this is where I keep my printer. I've had this Dell printer actually for, I think, like six years. Um, it's amazing. Um, been using Dell products for quite a while, as you can see. Huge, I have a huge, I didn't plan this to be this big when I ordered this um, bulletin board, but I used it as just a huge vision board. I've got motivational quotes. Um, this is something I'm planning on getting as a tattoo. I've got, you know, my family members here. I've got new sayings that I uh, saw recently, something from my church, um, places that I want to go so that I can look up here. And when I'm feeling down, I'm like, okay, I need to go to there. So again, this is just another area where I've got things visually that can take me away from the stress, right? And then behind, I have my bookshelves. These bookshelves are actually huge bookshelves that my father built for me because I found that the bookshelves <clears throat> in the stores were too thin, uh, meaning uh, depth this way, uh, this way, if you will. So I wanted the ability because actually down here, my business book section, those are actually two rows of business books. And as you can see again, look, I've got like my little Zen things here. I've got my book of quotes. Um, <laughs> this is one of my favorite editions. Um, but books keep me happy. Bookshelves keep me happy. I've got sunlight. Um, some motivational quotes here on my desk. I got these at TJ Maxx, but I love them. Um, I've got my phones back here, but you can see, you know, keeping it simple, but also putting things in your office that visually appeal to you. Um, I usually will have some kind of Zen music playing in the background, but I just love the overall simplicity to my desk. Um, it makes coming in here um, refreshing if possible. And again, standing, having this huge screen, you guys, the 32 inch screen makes me so happy. And I do love now that it's not, um, a touch screen so that I can actually keep my windows open. That's been a game changer. I used to always have to have my blinds shut, um, to avoid the glare. So from a productivity perspective, from a visual perspective, I love everything in my office. Um, and frankly, I love, I'll put the details again below uh, in the blog post, but this new um, docking system for Dell, I love because now I have one computer. This is it. I now don't have one computer for my office, a separate laptop. I have everything that's on one and it helps me um, really to keep you know, I, I don't ever leave like I used to. Let me turn this around while I wrap up. You're probably like, please, Kelly, wrap up. Um, but I used to, <laughs> sorry, um, when I used to have a separate laptop and a separate desktop, so I would bring a separate um, laptop with me on trips, I found that when I would get on trips, even though I put everything in Dropbox, I'd still get on a trip and go, oh, I saved that on my desktop. Don't know why. So this setup works for me. Um, honestly, I've really gotten to like my, my office 
you can see that I'm standing here and standing, huge difference. Having the space here, huge difference. And then having this huge visual. I mean, I'm standing here looking at this. Can you see, like my arms are, are this wide. That's how big my screen is. So you've got to check it out. Invest in making your office space more of a place that you love. Um, you spend enough time there. Um, and if you really want to invest in your health, decrease your stress, increase your zen. And that doesn't just mean at home. That's all I have to say about that. So I will be back with you guys. We're going to put more details in the blog post below. Have a great rest of the day. Check out the links. I know you have office envy right now. Make it your own.